Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, welcome. If you are new, welcome back if you are returning. So this is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Scorpio. You can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. Queen of Wands, the Hierophant. People in the occult. Temperance. You're an earth angel. You need to be balanced. These people are having a difficult time with destroying you because you're so balanced, because you're chosen. It doesn't stop them from trying. What we want now, though, is for you to be able to move on successfully. It's time for us to stop battling the same demon over and over. Call this thing out by its name and get rid of it. 444 on the clock. You are protected, 4444. You have angels all around you. It's saying Archangel Raphael was the one who told Tobias exactly what to do to go and burn the liver and the heart and maybe the gallbladder of a fish. And it would the, the, the older would dis distract this demon. Some of you, you have a person that's been doing a lot of heavy fire magic, water magic, candle magic, sex magic. This is someone here who is at home playing around a lot with spell work. Not to mention they're doing graveyard dirt magic and all this other stuff. Necromancy. These people are playing with dark spirits. They're conjuring up demons and sending it to you, your friends, your family, your home. Jin spirits, these spirits, they're tricks of spirits. You don't see them. They're they're messing with your devices and all kinds of stuff right there in your home, violating you. If you don't see this, if you don't have the spiritual eyes to see, you're really at a loss when battling against this kind of stuff. And let me tell you, watching tarot, re talking about a karmic every day, it's not going to help you get away from this. Call this thing out by its name. Cut every single head off of it and the serp and the tail it has as well. And be careful of these people around you who are Jezebels because they are working as angels of the devil. This is a Jezebel and a demon who have come together to destroy you. Double temperance. Y'all, I'm telling you. This full moon in, temp in, in Sagittarius that's coming up in the next three days, something is happening big. It's a lot happening behind the scenes, but I'm telling you, do not be afraid. You need to be as balanced, as at peace as you possibly can be. Do not give this energy to this demon at all. This demon is feeding off of you somehow, off of your energy. I've been saying these people are shape-shifting. They're astral traveling and projecting. They're doing all of this with your energy. This is a Jezebel and a demon that's coming together to harvest your energy to work against you and then to use your energy to protect them so that they can hang out and be hidden in your energy. These people are, are trying to be incognito in your energy, just like in the dream I had. It's blending. It, it's blending in with the cow. It's sitting right there with you. Watching, listening, monitoring. This has to go. Page of Pentacles. Somebody's on their last leg. Justice has to be served in this situation. The devil. This is a Capricorn somewhere. You have out here Capricorn and Taurus. Capricorn, Taurus. Here's the fire and then the, the temperance. Earth angel. Full moon in Sagittarius is in three days. So somebody right now is currently doing a bunch of fire magic, sex magic, or whatever, conjuring up demons, playing again, once playing once again with a bunch of dark stuff, practicing the occult. All right. Playing with, with some some dead people running around acting a fool. These people don't know what's coming for them. 
Cause see, once I call you out by name, oh, <laughs> there's nothing you can do. Nothing. You have this King of Wands here. The Tower and the Hierophant and the Sun. Something is being exposed. I feel like for some of you too, this you have a person that's trying to defend you. The Queen of Wands and the King of Wands is now out here. For some reason, I feel strong. Like I said, for some of you, like twin flame energy. The Queen and King of Wands to me, I don't really usually see them together as twin flames. But it could be. Could be some kind of power couple like situation. But if you notice the cards, you have the Queen of Wands, the Devil, and the King of Wands. What's standing in between the Queen and the King of Wands is the Devil. It's this demon. This demon is acting pretty much as a spiritual spouse. This Jezebel and this demon here that teamed up together and possibly were in a relationship. This is the incubus and the succubus who work together attacking a divine being. You have a king of wands out here. Yeah, somebody is, is not getting what they want. And there's a situation here that has gotten completely out of control. Someone here, if there's a person out here that's been doing any type of casting, conjuring or sorcery, and they have conjured up this demon, it's out of control. They're, they can't control it now. And that's why they're so afraid. Because you have here the Hierophant, the Sun, and the Empress. Look, with the Lover's card and the Emperor. Someone here is very much protected. There is a divine union here that's protected. And you have this spiritual spouse, this demonic entity here that's trying to block two people from coming together. 100%. Someone here is supposed to be moving towards a marriage. A lot of joy. You're supposed to be having a marriage or commitment for some of you, possibly a child with a divine masculine. You have a masculine that's possibly in the spirit trying to fight for you as well. Because you have this very childish like energy that's constantly trying to get close to you. Not to mention you have this Jezebel that has convinced themselves that they're a divine feminine or masculine. And it has, it has been playing around with, with demons. But some of you, I'm telling you, it's a person in your life. They truly are a demon. You have the tower out here twice. The tower is out here twice. Temperance is out here twice. The earth is going to shake in the next three days. Somebody could have an earthquake. Literally. Literally. There could be an earthquake coming very soon. Enough is enough. I don't know what type of black magic, juju, binding work that these people have done, but they really have gone entirely too far. Yeah, but something is over. Contract is over, and here is justice. You don't need to run and hide at all. You're good. It's clear of the strength that you have. Yeah, I'm so tired. And I don't, I don't say like I feel like giving up. It's just that. To have to go through this type of torment, you know, hating on your successful life choices, seek someone to do a core cutting ritual. Yeah, so you have someone, like I said, that's in the background. They hate the successful choices that you've made. Spirit just told me to tell you too, for some of you, this Capricorn energy, this could be a Capricorn sun sign, but they don't have to be a Capricorn sun sign. This person could also be Capricorn rising. Or something like that. I want to reiterate the fact too. For some of you. You have more than one person in your life. That's in the energy of Jezebel. But there's definitely someone here. Who has conjured up. This demon. You have fair spirit team. Your ancestors, angel spirit guides, gods, goddesses, they all have your back. You have a family generational curse. So again, like I said, if you're a family, if there's some type of curse where 
someone has hexed or cursed you so that you don't get married or you don't have financial um, blessings or abundance or whatever, now that you're getting so close to it, that's the reason why you now have to battle this demon. Unexplained freak accident. I just said that. Be very careful of your cars. Cleanse your car. Spiritually cleanse your cars. Pay very close attention. Please don't find yourselves out texting and driving. Don't be scrolling on YouTube looking for a tarot reading while you're driving. You got people out here who are sending you energies hoping that you, you just have a freak accident. So please be careful. Take a spiritual bath. The person that's causing you negativity could be a water sign. I said this demon, they, um, something about the month of November. Water sign. That's the first time I've gotten a water sign card. But this water sign is a Scorpio. This Jezebel energy is a Scorpio. You got a Jezebel energy out here that's a Scorpio that likes to play around with, with the dead demons and spirits. That's who has been con conjuring a lot of this stuff out and sending it out. Trying to amplify this energy. Somebody is digging into someone's Akashic records. You have glamour magic. This is their same energy too of someone who has convinced themselves that they're like a divine feminine or divine masculine and they're not. Instead, they're actually attacking people who are truly divine. Scorn, love. Yep. Feminine hater. What did I just say? Somebody here hates the fact that someone is truly a divine feminine. This is... um. A scorn lover of yours. They don't like the fact that you're in your your true essence, your divine path. You need to do an egg cleanse. You have to do an egg cleanse, take a spiritual bath. So really, really make sure that you are, you know, doing your protection work. Whatever that looks like for you. Egg, you have egg cleanse out here, take a spiritual bath. Someone could be trying to cause you an unexplained freak accident. This feels like to me, though, like, again, some type of conjuring that has happened where someone has literally gone into your Akashic record somehow to find out what type of karmic contracts were in your bloodline. And they've used something that they know about you to a, they, they literally have created a demon just for you. But this Jezebel has been going around jumping bodies and shape-shifting within your your family and your friend group to find out information about you and then they went and they conjured up a demon to attack you someone could have paid a practitioner to do this i'm still getting this karmic couple though between this leo and this this earth sign person fire sign earth sign D this is a couple here I feel like this was something that was started by a couple and it has gotten out of hands. This is a couple who could have been working against you. And over time, they've gone to several different practitioners or whatever witches or, or warlocks to work against you. This whole situation has just gotten out of hands because there are so many different people trying to attack you or your counterpart. And the truth is, they don't really even know why they're trying to attack you. They're attacking you because... You're a divine feminine, you're a divine masculine because of your life choices, because you have protection. Somebody is completely obsessed with your energy. And I'm telling you, for some of you, this person is no longer even, for some of you, it's the person out here that's not alive, that's attacking you. Like they're literally haunting you. It almost feels like you have a person that has passed away and someone is possibly using their ashes doing graveyard magic or something like that trying to conjure up this person's like spirit to do dirty work for them because this person was demonic i'm picking up a lot of stuff 
Some of you definitely could have had a person in your life, friend, a family member, a lover, that was dark, demonic. This could have been a karmic, like, past life soulmate of yours. They could have been in a relationship with somebody. That person is you is, is going to this person's grave or using their ashes or something like that to conjure up demons to attack you. Or they're conjuring up the spirit of this person to attack you. Ain't that something? And I know I've had a reading about that several months ago where I said someone is conjuring up a spirit and trying to force you into a contract, like a spiritual contract with this person. These people are trying to marry you in the spirit. They're, they're trying to force you to marry this entity in the spirit so that you will forever be bound to it. But they're also sending these demons, like these demonic entities to you to watch you, to monitor you. Like I said, every single time you get some money or you get a, a love interest or anything else, it's being attacked. And you're wondering, especially for some of you, how is this happening where you're no longer, you're not around people. That's how you know this is a spiritual attack. It's something that you're, a lot of you are unable to see. You don't see these spirits. You don't see them moving around your house and watching and monitoring and listening. Or you don't see these people who are scrying and, and looking in crystal balls and, and sending out birds and cats and everything to watch you and monitor you don't see that that's why you need to tap in because if you pay close enough attention you'll recognize the signs the symbols the synchronicities the patterns of behavior you'll notice it like me i, I literally i'm just like i'm putting everything together I'm like why did i just suddenly decide just randomly to detox the story this this demon literally was scared away from the smell of the liver of a fish. <laughs> God will have you to move in so many different ways to protect you if you just tap in. Again, I'm not talking about tapping, reading, listening to, to the, the, the drama in tarot. Some of you who are truly, especially the twin flames, the mission and the purpose that you have, I'm telling you, half of these readings are not going to help you. I can't control what comes out, but half of this stuff, it's, it's not going to help you. Because gossiping about what's happening behind the veil all day, but not actually being able to call these demons out by name so that you can be delivered from it is not going to help you. That may piss some people off, but it's the truth. Talking about everybody's baby mama, baby daddy, that's not... <laughs> What's the name of the demon? Because a demon is sitting is sitting in your house laughing. Four, four of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, holding you back from passion and new beginnings. These demons are sitting back laughing like, ha, ha, ha. They don't even see me here. I'm destroying their life, causing all kind of instability, and they don't even notice that I'm here. Some of you, like I said, these are even, this is a perverted demon. These are even sexual soul ties that you haven't cut. These, these demons are in, in spirits. They're hanging out in your energy. Rent free. When you move, they move. Just like that. Ten of Wands, Ten of Wands, Five of Cups. There's a lot of disappointment and rejection here, but you're being called to push forward. You're at the end of something, the Five and the Ten. Double up on your protection and what is yours, what has been taken shall be returned tenfold. You will have victory and success. And again, just like in that story, Tobias was was ordained. He, he was given the right to marry Sarah. Asmodeus or whatever the demon wanted Sarah for himself, but he did not want love. He wanted to be with this divine feminine energy because of, of her beauty, her intelligence, her ability to, to have wealth. He was in love with everything, everything that she 
in body, but he did not. He doesn't want love. He doesn't want me. He wants ownership. You can go back and look at my readings. I talk about the demon that will protect you because you are its favorite supply and host. This is your friends, your family, your lover, people who they they love you and they hate you. They'll protect you with their life because they they live off of you. The truth is, is that you're moving forward and you will have victory and success. When you can get this mess out of your energy, walk away from it for good, you'll be okay. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. Somebody here has worked very, very hard and paid a lot of money for spell work. I'll tell you that much. But it's blocked. Because it was nothing but a bunch of chaos, competition, jealousy, envy, and confusion that was being sent to you. Get power, get control over your mind. This energy, just as quickly as it came in with all of this confusion, it's going to be blocked. The tower. Divine intervention is coming in to destroy whoever this is that's coming up against you. So that whatever this demon is, it has to be left out in the cold. This demon is heartbroken. And like I said, it's lingering in the shadows, in despair. And it's trying to keep you feeling despair and hopelessness. You could have walked away from this person. Or you told this person to walk away from this Jezebel spirit and they didn't. Where is it? Um, I'm just going to see what the Kipper deck says and I'm going to close out. You're getting closer and closer to your finish line. Don't give up. False person, occupation, Jezebel, spirit, working hard. The number eight could be significant. Someone's birthday could be on the eighth day of the month. This person does work seven days a week. 34 breaks down to 7. This person does work 7 days a week. Courtship and high honor is here. Like I said, for some of you, you are a person of high honor. You could already be connected with your person, whether physically, spiritually, energetically. You are a person of high honor. April 25th could be of could have been significant. You're on a journey where you're going to have sudden will and a marriage, some type of contract. For some, it may not be an actual marriage, something romantic. It could be a business partnership, but there is some type of contract here. Your agreement, the agreement that you've already made. <laughs> What you assigned your name on the dotted line to do in this, this lifetime was to be married and have sudden wealth. Sudden wealth. Share your life with a person and be a person of high honor. Whoever this person is has been doing all of this work. This person could be the age of 34 to 37. They don't have to be. But this person here is definitely um, going to face poverty. Number 37 breaks down to the number 10. 8. 21, 19, 13, 17. 37, 37, 37. Hmm. Whoever this false person is, this person is, is having difficulty making money. That's why they keep attacking you or whoever your counterpart is. This person is finding it very difficult for them to make money. This could have been somebody too who has had a lot of problems with their child or their children. Or they could be facing losing their children. The coffin card is here, wealth and gift. Some of you, it's like you're being gifted a divine counterpart. 
this person again they keep coming in with this energy of death before you get to this gift and this this connection the main female is here with a wealthy man before you get this security and stability here's the main female and the main male together with the house before you get this security and stability or you get in this house or this contract with this person who is possibly a wealthy man Somebody keeps on trying to destroy you. But for some of you too, as I said in the previous reading, there's a wealthy man out here that embodies this energy of this um, this demon that is constantly trying to put an end to everything in your life before you receive a gift. Main male is here. I'm telling you, privileged lady. Yeah. Some of you, you're going to be set for life with whoever you end up with. It doesn't mean that tomorrow you're going to, I mean, but some of you, you could, you could hit the lottery. It, it could be anything, but yeah, you're going to be set for life. Somebody is concerned. This demon here, this concernment, this is, this demon is concerned about you being in a connection with this official person who's a wealthy man. They're very concerned about this because they're in bad health and they're feeding off of your energy. Like I said, for some of you, this is the person that's in your life from your past now. For some of you, though, this is an entity. Take it however it resonates. But if you're dealing with an entity, they're somewhere here in the physical. Everybody's walking around wearing a bodysuit. Don't let them fool you. Somebody here is not in good health. Or they passed away already and they were in bad health when they chose to still haunt you <laughs> somebody was waiting on the perfect time look at these cards y'all look i cannot make this up i promise i'm about to leave you have your schedule nightmare and a curse somebody had planned to curse you why because you have a promise coming a commitment this thing was contracted to do this work. It was conjured up and it was directed. Somebody, this Jezebel told this demon exactly what to do. On uh, under this moon cycle and on this day at this time, block this connection. This was a plan from someone from from the pits of hell. Water sign. This Jezebel person has water. In their chart, Libra could be on the Scorpio, Libra and Scorpio, or they have Libra and Scorpio highly aspected in their chart. But it's a Jezebel spirit. And they're working with an earth sign. But this is like two different people who are in your life currently. But they both may work with this demon. Get get some rest. Sweet dreams. You already know that something is faded. For you to have this caring connection with this sweetheart. So continue to stand up for yourself. You have protest here in game. Continue to stand up for yourself. Whatever this person is doing to bully you or spiritually attack you. It'll pass. But you better call this demon out by its name. And get it out your energy. Is a very judgmental person. It's a lot of different stuff here, you guys. Like in, in these readings, some of the stuff is, is one story and it all runs together. Some people, it's several different situations. You will have to discern scorn lover here. You have a scorn lover that's connected to another scorn lover. This is just a bunch of hurt people who decided they was going to hurt a divine feminine or masculine because they're getting close to a union. It's two earth angels here. Two earth angels coming together here in Gemini season, which is the season of the lovers, when a choice is made. And we have a full moon in Sagittarius in just three days. Tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. Somebody's going to be in bad health. 
somebody thought that if they if they did a lot of stuff to affect your health that they were going to receive some kind of unexpected income and your new beginning and somebody has also been doing a lot of sacrifices hmm. somebody has been doing sacrifices so that they could conjure up this 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 demon <laughs> 